start chalking. So, I already got all the standard goals on this table. And I thought I'd jump into the wizard goals. I didn't really look at them. So it's uh, sort of a blind play, but I haven't figured out all the rules yet. And I don't really want to. I kind of just want to like experience it as it is, you know? I usually turn up the brightness of the bulbs in the, uh, the room. But I'm doing this one a little bit darker. So it can feel like I'm in a pool hall. That's sweet. I just picked up season two. <laughs> I know they're on like season seven right now, but I just picked up season two a couple weeks ago. One more for and uh, I've been going through all the tables. And I really like them, guys. This one in particular, um, didn't give me too much trouble. And it was just one of those games where I was like, having a high run and I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing. I was thinking about how AI controls the world. Things like your Facebook account, or your Twitter, or your YouTube. The algorithms in there can connect you to other people, but they can also separate you. So whoever's in charge of these algorithms needs to be careful and make sure that they aren't accidentally filtering people out of each other's lives. Because it happens. And I've experienced that. Oh. So is that a wizard goal? All the lights went on, so something cool happened. I just keep shooting the ramp. I'm in a loop. Quite literally. Let's try the, um... Okay, now I'm, like, thinking about what to do. Whoa! Go for that green light next to the ramp. So when I broke, like, my cycle... That's all right, all the lights are still on, so I can still point towards what I was trying to accomplish. There we go. What's going on? Man, that threw me off. Uh, I had my screen turned off. Maybe there was like a game or something going on. I gotta remember to turn it back on. I've been used to playing the, uh, the older tables where I turn it off. I turn off the score on the, uh, on the tables where there's nothing going on in the display because it just distracts me and makes me think about like optimizing my scoring, which I want to do sometimes with like I'm doing um, like a test play, but if I'm trying to go for the high score, I don't want to look at the number the whole time. I'm not trying to go for a high score on this. I think it'll probably happen naturally, though. I think this is my second or third time only. I got all the standard goals pretty quick. Ooh. 
But I haven't seen the, the wizard goals pop up yet, so apparently there's more lore left to do. Alright, what's going on? Oh, okay, multi-ball. <laughs> so I gotta, well, let's just look at the table for a little bit. It's really nice. By the way, guys. Farsight Studios. Could you add, like, a room? You know what I mean? Like, a playroom? Where you can, like, take the pinball machines you bought and, like, just set them up in a room somewhere? <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but it'd be really cool. Ah. Uh. Uh. What am I doing? Yellow, blue, red. Okay. The cube ball thing is awesome. In the middle. Ah. I didn't know which way to... To nudge it for a second, so I waited to the very last possible moment. Spell double. Alright. I'm gonna switch views. It's also helpful to switch views when, like, you want to come up with a new move or you're sort of off rhythm, something's wrong. Change up your view. And different views for different tables. I don't have a set view I like for all the tables. It's dependent on the table which view I like. I do kind of like the, the child's perspective the best. Um, this, that one. But not for this table necessarily. But for most tables, that's usually my go to. Ah. Which is weird because if this were real life, I wouldn't be standing here. Goal to complete. Cool. Pool ball mania. Like I'd be standing up on top of it, so I'd probably have the highest view. But here I think you get a greater sense of speed, like when the balls are going to hit the flipper. You can get them coming right off the flipper. Ugh. Keep both of them. Ball time. Am I still on ball one? That's awesome. Alright, so now I'm like thinking, what else can I do here? Advanced multiplier. Ooh. Alright, probably want to go in that right lane because it's a bit green. There we go. All the lights are lit again. So I'm not super familiar with this table or like the history of it. Is this. Easy? <laughs> Is this like a, considered an easier table, guys? Let me know in the comments. 
Because I've been having a lot of success with it. Like if you know how to nudge, then um, it's pretty easy to get out, and the um, outlanes aren't that big. Ah! I still have that shoot again, but too. Come on. So let me take time to tell you about my setup, guys. I got a camera on. And I got a lapel mic, and I got a field recorder. Ah, just in case uh, something goes wrong, I still have the uh, the audio. I don't like to talk about my setup just because I don't like to jinx it. Because you know I've had had technical problems with some of the uh, the longer videos. So it's making me want to take risks right now playing this, I want to do something risky because uh, I'm still on ball one. It's not like I'm trying to lose or something, I wouldn't try to lose at this point. But I might be here for a while, because uh, this is a pretty good game. But it, since I haven't done all the ma- uh, what's it called? Mm. Wizard goals, I'm thinking that there's something I actually have to be striving for in order to uh, increase my points at a faster rate. And there we go with the uh, outline. But I keep seeing the, um, the orbit, the right orbit, being lit. Yeah, I want to mess m more with the um, cue ball, so I want to I wanted to play more with the, the cue ball thing. So let's start doing that again. Let's figure out how to do that. You have three seconds. Good luck. What am I doing? What? What's going on? Dude, what was that? What happened? Are you serious? Okay. I mean, I'm sorry guys. I know I should have read the instructions and had this be like a proper let's play, but man, I don't have time to like go through every single one of these anymore like I used to. I wish I did. I wish I could play these all the time. These are so much fun. So I know you're all screaming like, oh, you screwed up for no reason, but Dude, this is like my third time playing this one ever. And sometimes it is the beginner's look, because I've had had tables where like, one of the earlier times I've went to it, and then I've tried to, and then I went and read the instructions and all the, the pro tips and tidbits, and I was actually ever, I struggled to uh, beat my original high score. I don't know if that will be the case here though. This does seem like a, a beginner friendly table. And then this, this starts happening. Ah, it's really weird. Well, there it is. It's, maybe it's like psychological. <laughs> Later guys. You're gonna leave it now, are you? Oh, 